All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be learning how to find other social media accounts when we have one social media handle. So we're gonna use a tool called Sherlock and this is going to be a tutorial that I'm going to use a VM from VMware and it's going to be on Kali Linux. So I have a video on installing virtual machines, especially Kali Linux virtual machine. It is very old, but I think it might help some of you who are having some issues. So I'm gonna link it up here for you guys. And then I am also trying to get to 500 subscribers. So if you guys could go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you get notified by my future videos. And if you guys like this video, give it a like. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's get started. So what we're gonna do here is open up VMware Workstation. And hopefully you have your Kali Linux uh, VM installed. I suggest about eight gigs of RAM if you can do it. If not, do four. Or if you don't even have that, two is going to be okay. It's just gonna be a little bit rough. Uh, we're gonna play our virtual machine. I'm gonna maximize it here. I'm gonna hit enter for Kali. And then if you're on an older version, the password and username was root and tor, T-O-O-R. Um, now it is Kali Kali. So the username is Kali and the password is Kali. I would recommend changing it if you're going to actually use this VM for anything other than testing. But I'm using it for testing, so it really shouldn't matter. Um, we're going to go to our browser and we're gonna find the GitHub page for Sherlock. So let's type in Sherlock. Um, Sherlock dash project forward slash Sherlock. I'll have this linked in the video description below, but all you have to do is git clone it. And let's look at the readme here. Installation, clone the repo, git clone, change into the directory, install Python 3 and pip and then install the requirements, and then python 3 -m pip install -r requirements.txt. So let's just bring that window over here, open ourselves up a little terminal here, let's put that over here, and we're going to git clone the GitHub repository. So we're just gonna copy this right here, right click copy, right click paste, hit enter. Oh shoot, I didn't, that's not where I want it. We're going to rm, actually, let's see where to put this. Go back to directories. I want to put this in my opt directory. It's just easier. I might actually have it in here. No, I do not. All right, we're going to re-clone it, and we're going to clone it into opt. Permission denied. We're going to sudo git clone it. Give it our password. I'm gonna clone in there. Now we have Sherlock. So let's cd into Sherlock. Hit enter, and we'll have all of that. So now what we want to do is install Python 3 and Python pip. So let's just make sure it's installed. I think it is. Um, apt get install Python 3 and Python dash pip. Uh, it is Python 3 dash pip. They are not installed, so we're gonna let those install real quick. That was faster than I expected. So now we're going to install the requirements. So Python 3-m pip install dash r requirements.txt. And that's gonna go down the list of required stuff that they have in their requirements.txt. Uh, it looks like it was wheel and uh, BS4 stem and some other stuff like that. So now, apparently, we are able to Python 3 and use Sherlock. So let's do a dash H right here, and it works. Uh, if you guys have any issues, be sure to put it in the comments. There's always issues when you're building things from sources and it depends on the build you're in and everything like that so if you guys have issues i'm happy to help uh, i also have my email my bio you guys can feel free to email me 
But what we're going to do here is we are going to find someone's Twitter. So let's actually use a famous person. So Robert Downey Jr. Twitter. Let's see what name he uses at Robert Downey Jr. Just copy that and see if Sherlock just works. I don't have to uh, use Python 3. All right, that's cool. So let's just uh, control V, uh, paste it in there, see what happens. Permission denied. Let's make it pseudo. There we go. Okay, so and now what Sherlock does is it takes a username. And usually people have an online screen name that they use everywhere, like pen tests and tech. Um, I have a YouTube, a Instagram. Um, I think I have some other things out there. You guys could probably find it if you wanted to. Um, but I also have another username and personal stuff, so I'm not going to get into that. But Robert Downey Jr. is a famous person, and there's probably going to be lookalikes, people using his name. So Sherlock isn't going to differentiate between real accounts and fake accounts. But this is really good when you have a specific OSINT target, so uh, open source intelligence target, someone you need to find all the accounts for. Say it's uh, Joe Bob. Joe Bob's going to have a lot of results because Joe Bob is a very just like stereotypical name. But if you have a real name like Luke Lacane, there's probably not going to be a lot of false positives. Everything that comes up on here is probably going to be my profile. And you can use these profiles to look around and find, hey, this guy has an Instagram, a Twitter, a Facebook, a Pinterest, a YouTube all of this. So that'll help you in your OSINT investigation. So let's look through a couple of these. Um, let's go to the very top here. Actually, hold on. We don't have to look at that. We can show it in the file. So if you guys see, there is now a new text file and that is robertdowneyjr.txt. It is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's just cat uh, robertdowneyjr.txt. Wow, okay, that's a lot. So there's a nine gag account, there's a seven cups account. These probably aren't him. Uh, we can just for kicks and giggles open it up. Yeah, it's not, I actually don't know what seven cups is. Let's look for a real one. So. Facebook. That should be real. Robert Downey Jr. That is real. So that gave us a real Facebook account. Um, and we got that from the Twitter account. So you could probably find this if you just looked up Robert Downey Jr. Facebook probably would have been the next best result or something. But let's see if we can find something else that you probably wouldn't have found. Uh, we can open up his Instagram. Let's see if that works. And that is his Instagram. He's doing some HBO stuff. Um, Instructables, that might be him. 2016, that might actually be Robert Downey Jr. Not entirely sure, but it might be. Um, meet me. MySpace, is MySpace still around? Holy crap. That could be a fan account or it could be a real one. We, just, we honestly don't know. Pinterest, Reddit. Robert Downey Jr. is a very interesting person because he's not like celebrity where he's too good for things. He's he's kind of a, a cool guy. Yeah, he doesn't have any posts or comments. This might not be his real account. And SoundCloud. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Why is it not opening? Open 
No, I said copy. Open it. Robert Downey Jr. Yep, Sean Conway stole his name from Perth, Australia. Sean, again, if you didn't want to be my video, you shouldn't have stolen his name. So let's do, let's do a person who isn't famous. Let's do myself. So let's go to Sherlock and we'll run it again. And let's try Luke Lacane. Now I don't use Luke Lacane for almost any of my accounts, but I'm sure my Facebook should come up at least. Let's actually look and see what my Twitter is. My LinkedIn should come up. My Shutterstock should come up. Max Preps. I don't know if it goes through Max Preps. All right, so here, let's look at this. So we have a Twitter. Let's make sure this is my Twitter. That is not my Twitter. Apparently, the account doesn't exist, but it says it does on here. Um, that is not my Tinder. Let's look at TikTok here. Nope, not my TikTok. Spotify? I do have a Spotify. That is my Spotify. So I found my Spotify. I don't have a Ro Roblox. I do have a Repl.it. Um, yeah, I made this for one of my CTFs that I had to, I'd make a Repl.it account to like, I don't remember actually why I needed it. It was required for some reason. Meet me, I don't know what these are. So if you look, some of these aren't real so investing.com i'm pretty sure that just makes a website for every so like when so here's what sherlock is doing sherlock is taking the username taking the website and then looks at how the website formats its users so if you look repl.it is just at and then it enters in the username uh Twitter profile, it's just twitter.com forward slash the username. TikTok, same thing. Ro Reddit, same thing. MySpace, same thing. Instructables, Instagram, Facebook. They all follow the same concept, the same format. It's just the website forward slash the username. So what Sherlock does is it takes a little bit of the hard work out of your hands, takes the username you give it, and just throws it everywhere. And then if the website returns a 200 okay or a 404 not found, that will determine if it says not found or if it says here, here's the website that we found. It said 200 okay, there's a website here. We're not sure if there's exactly a user account there, but there is a website under that username. Um, ResearchGate has illegal username format. I have never actually gotten something that I found for ResearchGate. So if you guys could tell me what the username format is for that site, that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, there are some definite ones that just come up every time. Um, like cat friendly, I don't have that. Color lovers, I don't have that. Facebook, I do. Let's actually check out my Facebook here. Open, let's see where it opened. Facebook, yeah, so this was a, I don't use Facebook, if you can tell. Um, yeah, GitLab, I made a GitLab. I haven't done anything in a long time. I have more on my GitHub than I have on my GitLab. I made this for another CTF. But if you guys can tell, this is a pretty useful application. Um, especially if someone uses the same name all across the internet. So if you had a target, say it was a company or a individual person, you take their name, you look it up, you find, okay, they have a Twitter. You take their Twitter handle, you put it into Sherlock and you say, find everything. You go down the list and you find the ones that actually are that account 
it's that person. And then now you have all of this abundance of information and all these rabbit holes that you can go down and investigate. It just takes out the easy part. It takes away the initial scanning part of your job. So I think Sherlock is a pretty useful piece of code, um, especially for open source intelligence. And I felt like sharing this with you guys. So if you guys like this video, hit like, get subscribed, hit that bell icon if you guys wanna see more. Also in the comments, let me know how I can make my recording setup better for you guys. Uh, do I need a new mic? Do I need new lighting setup? Do I need a new camera? Do I need to change my settings on OBS? Or whatever you guys think it is. But let me know guys, and I'll see you guys all next time.